So welcome back everyone once again. This is Kevin from CSMI in Australia. Today I'm going to share with you the mighty Lebo 996 120 scale radio control excavator. So as usual, thanks for your question and comments. I have been off the radar for a while because I've shifted to a new location, but we're back in the game now. So the Lebo 996, this is a pretty big machine. It's a 120 scale. Uh, and this machine has a lot of detail on it. I'll go through all the details uh, shortly. I've just measured the overall dimensions and it was a bit of a pain to take it out of the box because it's so huge to put it onto my bench. So I had to put it on my F250, reverse it and then jog the machine from my F250 straight onto the desk. So give you some dimensions of this thing. It's about 55 inches or 1.4 meters tip to tip. The width's about 16 inches or 400 mil, and the maximum height up here is about 21 inches or 540 mil. Um, in, this particular, in this particular video, I'm just going to go overall and show you a few things, and then we will break up the videos where we'll go into all the functions and sequences and everything. So let's get straight into it. There's a lot of minute detail. For example, if you look at the trackpad, you can, let me zoom in so you can see what I mean. You can see it actually has the Lieber logo cast into the tracks. I mean, that's, that's really, really fine detail. You wouldn't think someone would go to that level. Um, the other thing you could probably see is, I'll, it's very hard to show you, but on the other video, I will show it to you, is the actual teeth of the bucket let me see if I can zoom it in has fine lifting lugs just like the real thing so you can actually put a shackle and take out the, the wear teeth on the, the bucket the bucket itself it's actually called GET which stands for ground engaging tool now that's a real fine detail you wouldn't see it's got multiple lifting lugs on the boom uh, let me just see if I can get it into focus. Multiple lifting lugs all over the machine. Like you can see it on top of the cab. Everywhere you can see it on the rear of the machine. Right up here. You know, it's got all this. It's got a functional working ladder with two hydraulic rams on it. Uh, that actually functionally work, you know, and that's the level of detail that's gone into building this thing. Even the things like the windows, the louvres, um, the protection on the headlight, you know, it's, it's, you can go on and on and on. And the paint quality on this machine is just unbelievable. You know, it's like, it's, it's glossy, it's hard, it doesn't flake off or it's, there's no unevenness or blemishes or anything on the machine. So it's pretty good value for many money. It is an expensive machine, there's no doubt about that. But then it is also a big machine, which means it's not easily transportable. But uh, you are going to get what you pay for. It's got four pumps on it. Uh, we'll go into all those technical details in the other video. Uh, and it effortlessly moves when you pull that lever and you give that command, you will see that machine functions seamlessly without a problem at all. This is the remote that comes standard from the factory. Uh, there are some really cool functions on it. You can actually jog the machine using the spring-loaded levers on either side uh, for jogging it. And you can have on-demand hydraulics, which means you pull the hydraulics and you'll see the machine straight away run up or you can get the pump running on a continuous mode if you choose to do so um overall very very impressive uh, it's very very smooth uh, the pump right now is set on a very slow rpm hence it's quite slow but trust me if you wanted to crank it up on demand you can actually get uh, pretty fast movement on all the functions including the bucket so that's where we're going to stop on this video and I'll catch you on the next video where I will spin the machine, show you the pump setup, 
show you how the battery is connected and the switches and everything. So as usual, if you have any question or comments, leave them down or you can email us at info at csmi.com.au. And thank you for watching.